did you go to theater school or did you naturally <laughs> gain all this wonderful stuff? No, I didn't go to theater school. In, I think most of my, my life I've been an instinctive actor, what you'd call instinctive. I had an ear for music and I had an ear for language and I had um, a, a sense of mimicry. I used to mimic people all the time. I've given that up because it's so dangerous. Your Peter O'Toole was quite good. No, I, no, I didn't even try. <laughs> I mean, actually, I can't get up that high anymore. <laughs> I mean, pay it to some left here now. I mean, you know, somewhere way up there. It's too high for me. I can't make it. And where did you learn your physical presence <laughs> on stage? Because you have a physicality to what you do. Well, first of all, that, that's easy when you come from a family who were of, of athletes. They were very athletic. My, my aunt was a terrific golfer in those days when women were not particularly uh, seen too often on the golf course. Um, my grandfather was rackets champion of Canada for five years running. Uh, he was a tennis player way back when in the 30s. I used to watch them in the long white flannels and playing tennis. He had all the trick shots that he learned in rackets, all the sort of half volleys and under the legs that you see now. Incredible. Uh, and so we sk and we skied. Skiing was my favorite sport after tennis, we were both equally. And so I've always done sports. And so you never had to go to a theater school and stand in front of the mirrors and with your hand on the ballet bar and do your PAs? No, I could have done that. It probably might have helped, but I, I didn't need to because I already had a, um, I think one's body when you're used to sports is, uh, does its own work for you, you know? leads you on, brings you on. Because you also express through your body. Yeah. You just do. When I see you, you know, when I saw you as a kid, I saw you in yeah. Cyrano, and I see you in Lear. Yeah. You, you use it. <coughs> well, I think every, yeah, I think actors should. They've got to do it. For, ever since the, you know, Commedia dell'arte. I mean, it's, it's all part, part of training, and that's, that's there in your mind, even if you don't go to school to but I know I'm wandering into the advice territory again, but again, we have a generation of actors who are being brought up on television, which is basically from here up and make sure your hair is pretty. Yeah. Uh, what do we do? <coughs> well, I see, I don't think it's their, f it's not their fault, of mm. course. It's the idea that they can be stars in five minutes if they stay, if they, if they hit it the, on the right day their timing is right, they're in the right place at the right time, they'll be a star for about five minutes. And then they'll fade away unless they go and take it seriously and go into the theater and do things and do ambitious stuff and, and learn. Al Pacino is a marvelous example of a modern actor, although he's, he's getting on now, but <coughs> of that Italian street acting school <laughs> that I'm so fond of. Who is able? Who loves words? He is one of the, the few left, I think, of that genre of player, of American acting, that adores words, and you can tell by watching him how he stresses, he he, he elongates all the modern dialogue, and he. You just have to go and see him as Shylock in uh, that film he did in Venice, to see how well he handles Shakespeare. Uh, it's, he, it's just a wonderful performance. He, he knows exactly how to stretch all the lines to give them their proper weight and their space, and to give poetry its full value. He has all that as an instinct. He did Herod, you see, in, of Oscar Wilde's on the stage. I saw it in New York. I mean, what an, what talk about a purple passage play, if ever there was one. Uh, Herod's language is more florid than, my God, and yet he wanted to do it. He was the only act, living actor who w would want to do it, and uh, he was rather marvelous in it. He made all those florid words, he gave them their full value, but he also gave it a wonderful kind of mafiosa touch, too, that was very necessary for the character of Herod. He brought out all that part of Herod beautifully. Shakespeare. So I, my, my point is, if I may, that the young people who admire Al Pacino, who's still around giving terrific film performances, 
have a lot to learn by watching him uh, because um, most of that is a love of words that he is bringing, no matter what part he plays, to you.